What's up everybody? It's Alex and RJ here from Backyard Sprouts. And in today's video, we're gonna be giving you a current update on our business and kind of first impressions on our microgreens. Coming up next. So as you guys know, if you've been keeping up with our Instagram and our latest YouTube vlog, which was I believe two weeks ago, you guys would have known that we landed our first two clients, yeah. which was super ridiculously awesome. Alex and I couldn't stop smiling for like two days straight. Um, because it's just super surreal. <clears throat> you know, when we first started this venture in January, everything is always just infrastructure work and setting up and just a whole bunch of boring things. It's not really boring, but you know, it's we weren't, uh, landing clients was like way for us in the yeah. future. We, for me, I didn't even think that we would be landing clients till way later. I thought we were gonna hit the farmer's markets right. and then build some clientele that way and then try and hit maybe uh, some, some chefs and restaurants and see how we do. But in our current venture, we just reached out to two uh, restaurants yep. and it just happened. It happened organically. Um, the one restaurant in Fort Mill that I didn't even try on that one because they said that they were being sourced by one of our major competitors. They're a pretty big farm. So I didn't even try. Honestly, I didn't try it at all. So I just ate there and um, he asked how the business was going. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of just, I guess my passion just took over and I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, Alex and I started growing our samples and sunflower. And I was even showing him pictures like, I was like, look, look, as if I've known this guy for years, right? And so he's like, he kind of looked at it and he looked at me, he's like, mm, well, do you have samples for us? And I was like, I was caught by surprise, honestly. And I was like, <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we have samples. <laughs> it's like, and he literally looked at me, he's like, okay, we'll bring some samples in, bring your business partner and let's see if we can incorporate these in any of our dishes. And I just texted Alex instantly. I was like, Alex, Alex, we have a meet and greet with our first client. And then not even, what, a few minutes later? Or was yeah, it? Yeah, same day. Same day. <laughs> Go ahead and tell me because I, yeah. I, Alex goes, dude, check this out. So it's the same day, I happened to be looking at a restaurant that I really like that's sort of near my house. And I was like, ah, they don't use my greens, but I'm just gonna email them and reach out. They're probably gonna just ignore me or not respond. <laughs> but I was like, it's worth it. <laughs> The restaurant general manager responded within like 30 minutes saying, yes, oh my God, please bring them over. We'd love to have samples. So I was like, RJ, I was like, look, we have another <laughs> restaurant that wants samples. They're super excited. And that one was really cool to me because they weren't using microgreens. Well, at least not listed on their website already. They were using few and garnishes, yeah. but they didn't have a steady supplier. Unlike this other restaurant who is already contracted with a um, competitor of ours so we were like oh this has a lot of potential you know if you're looking into doing and building your own microgreens yeah. business just know that it's doable I mean Alex and I aren't salespeople at all no. Alex works in supply chain I work as an engineer we're not constantly selling anything so it's doable and it's very real when it, you know you reach out to these customers and clients and they say yes and they want you to come in and bring some samples and yeah. you know it just goes from there so don't get discouraged don't don't get scared about reaching out to people like that all it takes is a simple email and what's the worst that can happen they say no move on to the next restaurant right, right. so we just wanted to share our experiences with that and how we landed our first couple clients because you know if we can do it and we don't have any official sales training you guys can do it as well and you have to remember we are totally we have <clears throat> i think firmly we're expecting to go to like probably tens of clients to 20s you know multiple numbers of clients to be rejected before anyone even gave us the time of day so yeah we have, mentally prepared ourselves for yeah that. we were like we're gonna get rejected all day long like you know how do we get over this so yeah, we were like just floored that they were interested and then on top of that that they love them and then wanted to place orders with us so the first guy we took the sample so you know he's smelling the uh, microgreens and he has no reaction to the peas whatsoever. I'm like, oh my god, he hates these. <laughs> like, he thinks they're terrible. And then, like, he, and then he eats our taste sunflower. He's like, these are delicious. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, the peas are terrible. He absolutely hates them. Like, I did do a good job. And then we take them to the next restaurant to sample, and the guy's like, these pea shoots are delicious. And I was like, okay, who they got? And I mean, he liked the sunflowers as well, but yeah. we were a little at first like, oh, he was underwhelmed, but they ordered them anyway. They did like them. They did, they did. And this is where the full week comes in and they've been messing with it with samples and they've, and they've been including it in their dishes. Mm -hmm. And both restaurants utilize both peas and sunflower. Yep. 
the one restaurant up north, uh, they were saying that they used the sunflower for a garnish on top of the Chilean sea, sea bass, bass yep. which was awesome. And then they were using Alex's pea shoots for a red Thai curry. Yep. So that was awesome. And he's like, oh yeah, these are featured items. Yep. And so it was super exciting to, to hear that. Then I went to um, the restaurant down south and um, we've been working with the one one person. I met the other guy for the first time and he loved Alex's pea shoots. Yeah. He's like, oh, the peas were awesome. And I was like, oh, see, there you go, Alex. Yeah. And so they were telling us what they were using their dishes for. Um, and they used uh, Alex's pea shoots on top of this bulgogi rice dish. So they garnished it on top of the egg and I took a picture of it and I sent it to Alex. I was like, yeah. Alex, look, it's her pea shoots. Yeah. <laughs> So it's super exciting. It's it's even more exciting when you see your product in real life and in, yeah. in, in dishes themselves. So that was very super cool. Exciting. It's very, very yeah. cool. I will say the one thing that I guess we kind of started with was just reaching out to restaurants that we both like. You know, I was like, I'm not just going to go around flat and start emailing all these restaurants. I'd like to at least have my stuff in restaurants that I like to eat at and already mm -hmm. sort of have a relationship with. So yep. we have really no process or um, I guess set way of going about to find people we've just been thinking about who we like and who we'd like to do business with yeah yeah we took that criteria and we did do our initial research mm -hmm. online that fit that for restaurants that fit that criteria right so restaurants that really promote a lot of farm to table um all within the city and you know we took that list and yeah we just kind of ran with it so the next update we have is that coming in May, we are going to be at the Notice Farmer's Market. And we're not quite sure what's all going to be ready yet for there. We'll definitely have our microgreens, but there might be a few other plants that will be coming with us. Some yeah. Vegetables. Yeah. Didn't you say your arugula is ready? Yep. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I've never grown arugula. It's delicious. <laughs> so yeah, we will be making our debut yep. at a farmer's market. So if you're in the area, come freaking check yeah. us down. <laughs> come May check 4th. us out. <laughs> May 4th, Notice Farmer's Market. And there's and so many other good vendors there. Like when we checked out the first time, I bought pickles and honey. I bought, like, yeah, a bakery, I, bought, cheese. I bought spiced okra. Yeah. So you should just come to check out everybody else too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Check it out. Um, so that'll be super exciting. So Alex and I have a busy, busy few weeks ahead of us to try and make sure that we are ready for that yep. um, avenue and you know serving for chefs and restaurants is completely different from farmers markets yep. farmers markets alex and i still have to make sure all of our ducks are lined in a row we want to make sure that we have um was it like a banner at least yeah. to have, that has our logo that we can put in front of the table or behind us uh, we want to make sure that we have a nice tablecloth to put over the table so we still have a few a few logistical yep. things to take care of infrastructure work and quantity wise obviously like sizes people at farmers markets aren't going to be buying the same amount as the restaurant so mm -hmm. we're just trying to figure out the correct way we want to package everything that it's a little more realistic for what someone would want to buy yeah yeah so i think we have I'm a pretty excited though. yeah so that's a full update on what our business is doing right now if you guys have any questions about where we'll be at or what we're growing drop them in the comments below as always alex and i are trying to build a community of like minds so we would absolutely love it if you guys hit that like and subscribe button so you guys get the latest on our urban farming adventure and we will see you guys next time yeah and as always alex and i are trying to build <laughs>